Howdy folks, welcome to part 27 of Pokemon Crystal. We have just captured the level 30 Red Gyarados, and after capturing or defeating the Red Gyarados, you get the red scale. It'll be useful later on. This lake is full of Gyarados something something, so the Magic Carp are being forced to evolve, are they? You're Crystal, I'm Lan Lance? Lance? Wait a minute! He's from the Elite Four! We battled him back in Pokemon Red, does anyone remember? I kicked his ass with Flareon! If you don't mind, could you help me investigate? Excellent! <laughs> it seems that the lake's magic carp are being forced to evolve. A mysterious radio broadcast coming from Mahogany is the cause. How could he know that? How would he know that that is the cause? Wouldn't he be able to figure this out on his own? Anywho, we return to Mahogany Town. I healed and everything, and let's take a look at our new Gyarados Pal stats. Incredible, is it not? <laughs> well, you know, it is. I'm using a team of mostly unevolved Pokemon. <laughs> so, it's not too surprising that Gyarados is infinitely better. Dragonite. Hyper Beam. <laughs> oh, fuck. What took you, Crystal? Just as I thought, that strange radio signal is coming from here. <laughs> Get out of the way, you fucker. The stairs are right here. How does he know all this? In Heart Gold Soul Silver, they go out of their way to make it really obvious, but in Pokemon Gold Silver Crystal, how in the world would he know all of this? And if he does know all this, why the hell does he need me to help? Indeed, his Dragon-type Pokémon are tough, but they're no match for Flareon. Whoa! Hey! Intruder alert! <laughs> wow, he came out of nowhere! How did he know I was here? Huh. Strange. I'm not sure if I stick with Chin Chow for taking on Drowsy. That's not actually a very good, like a very good uh, matchup. Drowsy has really high special defense, and Chin Chow only does special attacks. Well, aside from Flail, but Flail's a piece of shit. I guess it's fine. I thought it'd be a lot worse. Maybe if it was a Hypno. Jeez, I can't believe my one loss in Pokemon Red was to the fucking Hypno in Gym 5. <laughs> Damn, that pissed me off so much when that happened. Oh well, though, that was then. This is now. Nothing's gonna get in my way. Not even this Zubat. Ha 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 It'd be better if I had an electric attack. Uh, Chin Chow will learn the move Spark pretty soon, which, it's an okay move, it's just not that great. It cannot learn Thunder Punch, in case you're curious. Well, he vanished. Well, what the fuck? How did this guy know it? <laughs> what, what the hell's going on? How are these guys finding me? Zubat. Yay! <laughs> I actually think this guy has two Zubat and a Drowsy. They're no match for Surf. Surf? They give it to you so early in this game, and it's so fucking powerful. Surf is such a great move. I love water Pokemon. I was completely wrong. Apparently he has a Grimer. Eh, whatever. <laughs> It doesn't matter, does it? Also, I love Grimering, uh, Crystal. Look at its face. Look at its face and the way its arms are. I just, I love Grimer in this game. I also like the move Sludge. It's got this really weird looking animation. It looks like they're boiling Chin Chow. <laughs> I don't know, I found it funny. And a Ratatat. Or Ratata. Jeez. Anyway, you're actually going to tear this place apart if you have a Kadabra. Seriously, Kadabra, Shadow Ball, Psybeam, 
Thunder Punch. Nothing's gonna fucking stand up to you. You'll tear it apart. You teach it Ice Punch as well, or you save for... Or you wait until you get recovered. You're just gonna rip it apart, man. Really, Kadabra, once again, one of the most overpowered Pokemon. Well, has anyone really looked into a Persian's eyes before the Pokemon? Has anyone really ever done that? I'm sure they have shiny eyes to begin with. Okay, what the fuck, pal? Every t It seems like every time I come up to one of those statues... These guys keep popping out. What the fuck? I mean, it's only happened twice now, but still. What the hell? And this guy has the same fucking Pokemon. What, what the fuck gives? We go through the exact same battles as before. And I did mean that literally. The exact same battles. This is the same second grunt. We go through the exact same battles as before. <laughs> You're going to be seeing that a lot here, folks. The surveillance cameras are in these statues, so when you cross, like, go across the statue, that's when these guys show up. <laughs> Even though you can turn them off by going down there to where that computer was. I'd rather battle these guys right now because I want my team to be slightly tougher. They're kind of trailing behind in level and I wanted to be prepared for the upcoming gym. Anyhow, I'm going to be cutting out both battles from now on. There's nothing new about them at all. They're always going to be the same. So, you're not missing anything. Huzzah! Hyper Potion! But yeah, I am re I am purposely battling all these guys over again simply because well not over again, but because I've been behind in level ever since what? Cyanwood City Gym. And hell, I'm still technically behind that gym's level. Chikorita and Gyarados are almost the same level as Polyrath. Everyone else is a good six to eight levels lower. Then we get to Jasmine's gym, which whatever. Her her gym's one of the easiest ones in this game. And then we're coming up to the seventh gym. Oh yeah, the seventh gym's coming up before you know it, folks. We'll be there way before you know it. Anywho, that was the last time we go through these same exact battles again. So that was what, like five times? Not a lot, but not bad. So let's go ahead and go turn the cameras off. I'm not sure if you leave and come back to this hideout if all the cameras reset and you can battle the same guys over again. I don't think so, but maybe. This was once a ninja hideout. <laughs> oh boy. So apparently this was once a ninja hideout. Who would have guessed, right? It just kind of seems like it was thrown in there. Ah, <laughs> oh, jeez. Anywho, something different. He has Magnemite. Wooper's almost knocked out. I don't know what I was thinking. Because Wooper would so tear Magnemite apart, but it was almost KO'd. Oh well, we'll give Fer... Ferret. I almost called it Ferret. <laughs> well, it is a Ferret, but still. We'll give it a shot. It knows Fire Punch. It can take out Magnemite, no problem. The Steel-type dual combo for Magnemite I actually think is a, more of a con than it is a pro for Magnemite. It just, it, it doesn't seem to add a whole lot to Magnemite as far as typing. I don't know, that's just my opinion. A lot of folks will disagree. A lot of people love Magnemite and Magneton. Myself included, I do love Magneton. I do not like a form that will be showing up in Generation 4. I do not like Magnazone. I don't feel like there was any need for it. But, you know, that's just me. <laughs> Anywho, that, bleh. Anywho, though, yeah, this guy's pretty simple. He has three Magnemite. Ground, water, fire. Pretty much anything that, you know, that you have right now will take it out. He'll divulge a secret. 
And that is true. If you need to exit quickly, you can take the warp panel back outside of the hideout. It'll take you to the entrance. I don't see the purpose of it, to be perfectly honest, other than, you know, convenience, because... Yeah, once you get to that area, you can just walk back without any real problems. Anywho, I realize that I am completely full of crap. <laughs> like, I am full on crap, and so I'm going to be exiting the hideout and depositing shit before you know it. For now, though, we found a guard spec. Huzzah. Or a guard special. I, I don't know. I don't care. Whatever. I, I never keep those items. Anyway, let's go and try out the warp panel. Why not? Why not? It'll be fun. We didn't get enough of them in Sabrina's gym or in the frickin' uh, Sylph building. That's it. Anyway, I go and sell crap and throw a lot of it into the PC. I mean, a lot of it. It's a lot of shit we're never gonna see. <laughs> Anyway, I figured I should show off this area over here, because it's a little bit different. You can bypass the whole statue thing, save for two battles completely. Simply by taking on this guy and then heading down south. <laughs> Feeling lucky, punk. Doesn't Clint Eastwood say that? I'm not a big cowboy movie fan, but I swear, that's like, isn't that a line he's famous for? Eh, whatever. So yeah, this guy's pretty basic. Ratatats, I think he has Raticate as well. Maybe he doesn't, I don't know. This is Rain Dance though, isn't it awesome? Now Surf will hit twice as hard. <laughs> I didn't really need to use it, but I was like, oh, I want to show it off already. This is like the only weather move that I actually teach any of my Pokemon right now. Well, not right now, but for this playthrough. I think I show off where you get Sandstorm. Um, I don't know if I show off where you get Sunny Day. In fact, I don't think I do, but whatever. Whatever, it doesn't matter. I, I'm not going to use Sunny Day anytime soon, so whatever. You know, thinking back, I think he actually has two Rattatat and then two Zubat. Huzzah! Way to go, Chin Chow! I'm wrong again. He has three Rattatat and then either another Rattatat or something else. Whatever. I, I really don't care. <laughs> I'm sorry if I'm coming off as unenthused, but a lot of these battles are going to feel the exact same every time you go through them. I'm just saying, all these battles feel so similar. But whatever, we defeated the Rocket Grunt. You know, I'm kind of disappointed none of these grunts have names. Every other trainer and whatnot that you encounter all have names. I really wish the Rocket Grunts did. If you head down below where the striped floor was, certain tiles will make wild Pokemon appear. You can sit there and step on the same tile over and over and over again, and you'll rebattle the same Pokemon. It's an okay grinding spot, but honestly, I don't feel the need, so whatever. It's Lance! Are you alright? I'm fine. I don't think they're that hurt or tired, but whatever. Thank you, Lance, for healing my Pokemon. How do all these people have all these magical healing items that they're able to use whenever the hell they want? You rotten little pest! Oh, I love the rockets in this game. So much fun. And he sent out a Venonat. I don't know if we've actually battled Venonat. I'm pretty sure we've seen it, but I don't know if we've battled it. Oh, that it matters. It's bug slash poison. It's level 18. It's going to get knocked out pretty quickly. Oh, it just barely hung on. Oh, that's annoying. Like, come on, it's got like one HP left. The fuck?
Maybe I should describe what Flail does, since uh, we're not going to see it a lot. Wow, that didn't hurt at all. <laughs> um, what Flail does is it deals out damage depending on how much HP you have. Like, the lower your HP, the more damage Flail does. So if you can get your HP down into the yellow or the red, it's going to do a lot more damage. Because the fact is that I very seldomly let my Pokemon's HP get down, down that, like, that low. I don't find it that good of a move, but other people might disagree. What do you folks think? Do you think Flail's a good move or not? I don't think so, but that's just me. And we took down another Grunt. Bleh! Heh, <laughs> only the boss knows the password for that door. Where's the boss? Who knows? Go look for yourself. <laughs> yeah, yeah, way to go, Crystal. I'm sure that this rocket would tell you where his boss is hiding. Oh, my boss, he, he, he's hiding over in that office over there. Go, You should go talk to him. Oh, <laughs> uh, these grunts make Crystal seem like such an idiot. It makes me laugh. Well, duh, of course it won't open. It's password locked, you dumbass. <laughs> Hilarious. Holy shit, he has a goal bat. We haven't seen one of these in a while, have we? Once again, if Chin Chow knew an electric type attack, this would be a little bit easier. But hey, it knows Thunder Wave. I can't bitch and moan that much, can I? Man, oh god, I've mentioned this before, but Chin Chow's an excellent Pokemon. You can get it as soon as you get a good rod, and it's so worth it. One of my favorite water Pokemon. Huzzah. <laughs> I'm trying, guys. It's hard, though, when all these battles feel like they're the exact same. What? I lost. Of course you did. Any of you folks, uh, stay tuned for part 28 where we continue on through the rocket hideout. I'll see you folks then.